This book is being read to you with permission from the Quirkles creators, Terry Johnson and Sherry Cook. Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Han Reads Quirkle series. Today's book is all about Gilbert Gas. This of course was written by Terry Johnson and Sherry Cook. You guys ready to get gassy? <laughs> Let's just dive into it, all right? In a galaxy far, far away named Quirk, there lived the Quirkles. The Quirkles were unique little scientists who had vivid imaginations and loved to experiment. One day, the King of Quirk called them together and asked them to travel to a new land called Boarsville to share their discoveries with the creatures that lived there. The creatures of Boarsville needed help. They lacked imagination and knowledge. Off the Quirkles went. The creatures were so excited with their 26 new friends, they changed the name of their land to Quirksville to honor them. And thus began many new adventures for the Quirkles and their friends. Gilbert Gass is the most gleeful and gracious Quirkle. He gallops all over Quirksville with a grin on his face. He loves to play games, make glorious music with his guitar, and do good things for all the creatures in Quirksville. One day, Gilbert Gass and his friend Gary Goat were going to Gott's grocery store to get their favorite goodies, grape gola, and gooey gum. They were having a great time together. As they were galloping to the gum tree to the rest of the ground, Gary Goat made a goof by dropping his bottle of gola on the grass. Gilbert Gass yelled, No, 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 Gary! Do not open the gola! It was too late. Gary Goat yelled, Good golly, Gilbert! I have great ghoul all over me! It gushed and gushed out of the ga glass bottle when I opened it! Gilbert Gas giggled. Grape gola is full of gas called carbon dioxide. When you drop the gola on the green grass, the gas bubbles bumped into one another faster and faster until they expanded and the gola gushed. You are a goofy, gruesome sight, Gary. Gary Goat grumbled, I don't like gas. I don't know why we need gas called carbon dioxide. Gary Goat griped and grumbled as he wiped off the great gola. Gary was being a grump. Gilbert Gas explained that carbon dioxide is good for all living things. We breathe out carbon dioxide in the air and breathe in oxygen. Green plants take in carbon dioxide to help make food. Gary Goat said, I guess carbon dioxide gas is not all bad. I just don't want it all over me. I am a gooey mess. I look like glue. Gilbert Gas and Gary Goat worked together to get the gola cleaned up. Gary Goat was glad he had such a good friend in Gilbert. They galloped off together down the gravel road. It was a grand day. The end. Hey, wait, we're not done yet. Turn the page and follow me. There's still much more for you to see. Gilbert Gass's balloon. Watch what happens to the balloon. Oh, I'd love to check that out. Gilbert's Puff Top. This has a surprise at the end. I wonder what that surprise will be. Let's, we'll figure that out later. In next video, we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. If you enjoyed this book and want to see more of the experiments that went along with this story, click this video right here and it will take you to the Quirkles YouTube page where you can see their experiment that they did about this book. See y'all later. Bye, everyone.